Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. November 25th, let God's hand mold the clay. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yielded and still. Let God's hand mold the clay. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father. We are the clay, and thou our potter, and we are all the work of thy hand. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 8. We do not know what the Lord will do for us if we will come into line. God sees what he can make of man. There are possibilities which our feeble faith does not discern. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. He sees all the now unamiable traits of character in man, and he knows if men will learn the meekness and lowliness of Christ, he can mold and fashion the combative spirit the unamiable disposition, and bring every power of being into working order to advance his kingdom. He longs to refine, elevate, and ennoble the entire life. Through the Holy Spirit's power, he can use the very worst characters and make them men and women of opportunity. Blessed is the man who by faith can get a glimpse of Christ's faith. Then there is a possibility of his becoming Christ-like in character. Great light comes to man as he sees the privileges that are for him. He sees God's plans for him and he dies to self. He submits to be worked. When he submits to be as clay in the hands of the potter, then God works the man into a vessel of honor. Clay in the hands of the potter is turned again and again until the will of the potter is wrought out in the vessel. Grace and truth will make perfect the work of fashioning the human clay, that the glory of the great potter may appear in the production of a shapely vessel molded and polished for service. The potter cannot mold and fashion unto honor that which has never been placed in his hands. The Christian life is one of daily surrender, submission, and continual overcoming. Every day, fresh victories will be gained. Self must be lost sight of, and the love of God must be constantly cultivated. Thus, we grow up into Christ. Thus, the life is fashioned according to the divine model. Let the hand of God work the clay for his own service. He knows just what kind of vessel he wants. Our High Calling, November 25th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.